Ah, welcome back. And as usual, I have to fix the camera because it looks way at a joint back there. Anyway, as long as you can see me and Ben in the picture yet, Ben? I probably got uh, ridiculous looking hair, but this is me caring about my ridiculous hair. So this is the Wednesday one, I know, for 4th of March in the year of something, 2015. We've got another red wine. I'm going to stick with wines, or red wines, until I run out of them, and then I go to white wines. Sounds like a plan, eh? So, this is called Post House Bluish Black by South Africa. By South Africa? From South Africa, sorry. And, uh... uh can't seem to... This is a post, uh, cork or uh, or what it is. There's no little opening tab. Oh, she's a cork pie. She's a corker. It's kind of a nice day out. It's only around freezing and sun's out now. Uh, it's uh, my guy was down did the driveway. Hopefully for one of the last couple of times he, this winter. Hopefully we don't get too much more snow and hopefully ah uh, all the cold. Real cold weather is bias. Three weeks till uh, till spring, I guess. And the clocks go ahead this Sunday morning, to Saturday night, Sunday morning. Spring ahead, fall back, so they spring ahead. It seems awful early for this year, but I know. Blame the conservatives. Why not? They're the blame for everything. Mm, smells like wine. You don't like wine? Okay. More for me, I guess. So, Post House. Bluish Black, 2011. Post House Cellar nestles at the foot of the Hellberg Mountains between uh, Stellenbosch and Somerset West. The site of the original post office for the local missionary station of Braithby. It still boasts its nostalgic red post box. Okay. Nick Gerber, owner and winemaker, feels fortunate in following his dream. A viticulturist, he knows that as well as passion and creativity, other factors contribute to the production of fine wines, namely hard work, patience, and attention to detail. Post house wines are handcrafted with minimal handling and intervention. Yeah. So this is a mixture of Shiraz, Pinotage, other I think that's South African too, Merlot, and a Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. Enjoy now or keep up to three years. That's good to know. I think that's an eleven. Yeah. Well, it seems like a really deep spell to it. Glug, glug, glug. So, put her in the glass, which is close to decanting as I do. Well, I'm smelling great. <laughs> Maybe blueberry? Maybe that's why it's called bluish black? Blackberry and maybe, uh... I don't know. Maybe apricot maybe? Or plum? Well, I'll stick with blueberry and blackberry. Because I didn't take a course to learn out how to do my taste buds work. So, 2011, Port House, Post House, sorry, bluish black. Mm. 
It's one of the deep reds, I guess you could say. It's a uh, really good flavor, really good finish too. Swish around on your tongue, you get all the taste buds going, and uh, between your gums and cheeks and everything like that. I think some more of the blueberry I'm getting. It's good. It's got legs. Those are little crawly, creepy crawly things. It means there's booze in it, don't you know, Ben? Oh, I should say that too. Uh, 14.5%. Oh, you'll be driving the car home tonight, won't you? Now, I never had this before. This type of wine. But for... I think I, I chose something pretty good. This is Oka cheese with mushrooms in it. A little bit of cheese. Want some cheese, guys? Hmm. Goes rather well. Actually, I think that Oka cheese with mushroom in it will go well smeared on a bumper of a 59... Uh, Toyota. It's really good stuff. Mm. The mushroom goes really well with the wine. I got this thing here. Cocktail server. It's a piece of uh, baby corn, hot pepper, and a pickled onion. That was supposed to be another thing. Oh, a piece of okra, I think. These are by Tipsy. Cocktail stirs. Sweet and spicy. And I got that at Winners for five dollars for that big jar. This probably doesn't go with red wine. This probably goes with ice cold beer. Hmm. Ooh, how did I expect it? Let's see what the wine does to that. Yeah, the wine does a good job of cooling it down, actually. If you just see my uh, video before on the big flame tests, flame disc tests, one point I should add is, is you can't control the fire, the fire or the heat. You know, it's uh, it's on and it's there. You can't do anything besides raise or lower the grill that you're using. Uh, there was hot spots on some sides and not in other words. Other than that, you know, it'd be good for certain things and not good for anything. For other things, I should say. <laughs> not good for anything. Okay, Ben. No, if I was professional at this, I'm already keeping track on the in the, my computer of the names and stuff, but I'd write a few notes on each one so I can remind myself there. But face it, it's just going to be bullshit notes because I'm not a wine connoisseur. I, I'm like you guys. I like what I like. Unless there's somebody in my audience that is a certified uh, sommelier. And last time I checked, there wasn't. I think this was... Uh, $14, I think, for the bottle. So that's not too bad either. It must have been standing up for a while because there's a lot of sediment right here. Oh, the rule of thumb is let it sit for... You're supposed to decant it first. Like I said, this is close, so I'm going to decant it. Just put it in the thing. And then I'd breathe for 10 minutes or so. Uh, if you're wondering about, uh, this is at room temperature. Rule of thumb is, white wines you put in the fridge half an hour before you serve. And with red wines, you take it out of the fridge 15 minutes before serving. So white wine is chilled and red wine is slightly chilled. Closer to room temperature. But you know what I think of that? Sometimes I like 
red, uh, white wine is, is better chilled. And sometimes I like uh, red wine chilled. But as uh, you get those subtle flavors and the, the depth of those flavors come out when it's warmer. There, that's about as technical as I'm uh, going to pretend that I'm going to be today. So, so again, to conclude, Bluish Black by Post House, Africa 2011. I think that's more or less the same. Right? I think there's some blueberry ish in there, but you know, the simple mind reads bluish black and thinks blueberry. So that could be where I'm getting blueberry from. Other than that, it's nice. Yeah, I'd be definitely, it's definitely good with this cheese. Like an older, full flavored cheese with a full flavored wine with a full fat ribeye steak. Ah, that would be good, eh? I don't have a rating system. Uh, what do you give it? Ben, eight thumbs up out of ten. Do you have thumbs? I didn't think so. So, anyway, thanks for dropping by. This is another Wine on Wednesday view do by Chris. And uh, that's about it. Chris, out. Good morning, Australia. You know who comes from Australia? Yeah, Big Frank comes from Australia. You know Big Frank, don't you? Would you stop looking at those cheese? <laughs> Thanks.